Hey everybody, so today we are going to be talking about what is a wisdom graph. Now, you're probably familiar, and if not, I'll pop something up here on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. There is a data, information, knowledge, wisdom pyramid. This is something that's been around for quite some time, but the more I think through this process, the more I feel like there is a piece missing between the knowledge and the wisdom part. And what that looks like, I think, is where personal knowledge graphs are, are maybe going to step in and help out a little bit. Because if you have knowledge, that doesn't necessarily mean you just get wisdom when you apply it. So I can have knowledge that going around on the right side of a vehicle when it's trying to turn left uh, is illegal and I shouldn't do it because it's maybe not safe. If you live in New England, you'll know lots of people do that exact thing. So just because you know you shouldn't do something doesn't mean you don't do it, right? And so that's where I think we're missing that personal knowledge and not just personal as in what have I learned through the uh, trials and tribulations of me applying the knowledge that I do know, but also the the knowledge and the lessons learned from those around me. And so I'm proposing here that we put this into the pyramid. So when you have lessons learned and it's a collaborative where you're learning from others and their experiences, I think, yes, you can put that into a knowledge graph, but typically, especially when you're talking about enterprise knowledge, that's the missing piece is, when you get those insights from the knowledge graph, what do you do with them? Did they pan out? What nuances can you add to it? When you're talking to your sales group or whoever's using that, that data to take action on, uh, maybe your investors or, or maybe you know for yourself, where your uh, social network is uh, panning out, if that's why you're trying to grow your social network. Did it actually do that, right? Like that's the part of, of learning that I think is missing from the pyramid. All right, so now to explore this concept in a little bit more detail, I would like to walk through a chapter of a book that I was recently uh, asked to write on um, a lot of these topics because I feel like this is something that is is missing from, from the knowledge graph and wisdom narrative and not to say that I am, am adding the, the missing piece, but I am at least elaborating on where I feel the missing piece is and how we can explore that a little bit more with personal knowledge graphs. So if this sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. So sit back and listen in as we walk through what does this road to wisdom look like and how personal knowledge graphs play a part. It is said that wisdom is built on foundations of knowledge and a road paved by experience. We have the knowledge part down at this point. Knowledge graphs have gone mainstream and are used in everyday applications. An unprecedented amount of data is being created every day. But we are losing more data every day than we gain despite this deluge of data due to the technological decay of past knowledge vehicles. Our lives are lived alongside digital copies of places, people, and things. Pattern matching and language models are learning billions and counting of the quirks of human dialogue, the back and forth weave of the past with the current, a leapfrog effect of human conversation. Semblances of the human spirit and ingenuity are now composed into prose, art, and digital copies resurrecting those who have come before and casting thought to what will come. The ethics and boundaries are being drawn, I'll bet likely much too slow to keep up. And the ideas are being explored, abandoned, and picked back up again. But there is a critical component missing to attain wisdom from all this knowledge. And that is application and learnings from experience. The road to wisdom is built from knowledge and paved by experience. Now that it can be supercharged with personal knowledge graphs. Each person's experiences creates a map 
of their accumulated knowledge and what they've learned from that. Experience is the cycle of experimentation, failures, breakthroughs, small and large alike, remixes, revamps and reversals, reconfigurations, and building on what was and is to come. All to take the next step and the next and the next after that. Interpreting and learning from those experiences creates lessons, lessons shared, passed on, built upon by others. This creates wisdom. And now personal knowledge can be structured, adding meaning and insights, visible and actionable, owned and operated by you and yours, ready to peer into the depths of wisdom that you have, but perhaps we're not aware of. Breaking down the barriers to innovation and finding new pathways to explore, stones unturned, lessons unmarked. There is a tale of Google's past where there was rumored to be a project to impart not only knowledge to Google, but also wisdom. The Google Knowledge Graph came to be, but the wisdom part did not, or at least not yet. You see, capturing the web's data gives you the knowledge, the data points, and how they relate to other things, but not why those matter to individuals or specific situations. That additional interpretation requires the lens of a person's experiences, circumstances, and how they take learning from that and expose the things that they know and they don't know. Knowing how their knowledge is passed through that sift of understanding and lesson. The weave of knowledge and experience depends on this interpretation to become wisdom, which is why personal knowledge graphs, which allow these to become a picture to be assessed and interpreted, supercharge the road to wisdom. Wisdom cannot be contained per se, only insights offered for interpretation. And that by a specific person based on their own experiences. This emphasis on the individual is what makes personal knowledge graphs different from a traditional knowledge graph. In a personal knowledge graph, the most important node is the center node representing you as an individual. And the imp most important edges are the way you interpret the notes to your own personal symphony of life. The weave that makes your world and how you interpret and learn from it. Each person has lived a life and interacted with other lives, creating a unique weft of lessons and threads of knowledge that weave into a quilt of wisdom that we can also wrap around the next generation to comfort, to grow, to guard, to inspire. The most used vehicle for this throughout history has been stories, the narratives to pull together the knowledge and experiences to pass on wisdom to the next generation. But stories tend to warp, change, take on a life of their own, and unfortunately, they also get lost in the years. Cultural heritage, the stories that make you, you, your culture, a spice to your everyday life, the way you react and feel, traditions and language, all contained in verbal stories or often outdated formats like tape or paper, can now get a second life through what we are seeing with personal knowledge graphs. These can change by region and family, share themes across cultures, and have versions across the years that change according to the needs of the current generation. There's efforts in Canada, Ireland, Kenya, and other cultural heritage and archival organizations that have started exploring the use of graphs for saving these narratives. Personal knowledge graphs offer a way to contain the interweavings of these stories, the nodes and the ebbs and flows between different narratives, all forming the backbone of how many of us define ourselves, where we've come from, and where we are building to go. The comparison of PKGs, personal knowledge graphs, to find insights and meaning is not the stuff of scholars alone but the beauty of the everyday in finding meaning behind the nuances of your life. Sharing of knowledge and experiences 
across lives, situations, generations, colleagues, cultures, and disciplines, deriving insights from the interplay of one worldview to another, all built to a greater opportunity for wisdom building and sharing. Experiences and their interpretations come with a heavy responsibility as well. Experiences, knowledge, and wisdom are all cultivated by each individual, sifting through what matters, what can be discarded or tucked away for another day. Building your own mind palace is hard and takes work and time. A large portion of your personal investment goes into making sense of things and these cannot be so easily auctioned off or mishandled. Wisdom can be misshapen, misinterpreted, used for purposes never intended or well understood. The mantra, my life, my data, has been a flag raised in light of greater access to data and personal experience is covered under the laws and regulations that govern data gathering, access, and use like GDPR and things like that. Experiences in wisdom are deeply personal artifacts to life and often are foundations of a healthy and happy life at that. Sharing your experiences in wisdom to help others is a precious gift. Adding the experiences and wisdom of others builds up, grows into something new and adds odds and ends to help the long and short tales of situations for more specialized coverage of any given topic. But this is why trust and ownership are such critical pillars of personal knowledge graphs. Writing a blazing message across the sky of your personal struggles or those of others spells havoc. Throwing a stone into a calm pond just to see the ripples, testing how turbulent you can make the waters, or fooling others into testing those waters spells distrust. Neither creates a stable foundation to build off of, making for a twisted and bumpy road to wisdom, and one we may not be able to see the end of if trust and ownership are not maintained and improved. Personal knowledge graphs put ownership on the individuals creating the data. The data is, after all, their own experiences and inter interpretations. So if there is falsehood, it is at least only a self-serving deception that is self-contained. When personal knowledge graphs are shared or when a personal knowledge graph is used for critical applications such as health and identity, this is where verification, checks and balances, anonymity, and governance are needed to maintain an equilibrium of safety amongst some of the self prophecies that we may put in our own personal knowledge graph. What looks like is still to be determined. But as with any pivotal moment, trust is easily lost and hard to gain. Using the wisdom of past pivots provides us with the learnings to test what we share with who and why and measure it against our trust factors. This aspect cannot be overlooked. Wisdom is not only connected to the interpretations of your past and current situations, but also predictions for future decisions. Personal knowledge graphs create a window to know and be known. Knowing without blinders what you have, where it came from, how you obtained or learned something, who has access or the same knowledge or experiences. Who can you share that with to gain an accelerated view on a situation and how these change over time and with different interventions? These are interpretations and learnings to make more informed decisions. Seeing the weave of those experiences can identify holes or focal points, space to grow and explore, where there are errors in your own data or that of others who contribute or interpret data from your graph. Experiences are often shared with others to gain insights and understanding. Think sharing your personal knowledge graph with your financial advisor so they can guide you straight, seeking a more balanced search experience, or mapping out your cancer survivor journey with treatments, drugs, providers, and support 
so that you can share that journey and help others. Being able to share these things can strengthen your resolve and confidence with others who can guide or support or help to resolve disputes or incorrect data into interpretations. This goes for those using personal knowledge graph data to design and build those experiences. There is no such thing as universal wisdom, not really. Each person is unique and therefore while their interpretations and learnings may be similar, the interpretations of their specific situations are all unique to them. Those sharing or creating personal knowledge graphs from personal data can offer experiences that are more granular and intimate than ever before with the help of personal knowledge graphs based on similar patterns to bring joy and surprise, delightment and excitement. But personal knowledge graphs are not yet mainstream and therefore their data can be sparse. My grandma or my five-year-old niece do not yet have the know-how to make a personal knowledge graph on their own. They both fall back on verbal and written sharing that we're also familiar with. So while personal knowledge graphs do have great promise, there is a lot of ground to cover on this road to wisdom so that individuals can have the skills and the understanding or at least the tools to populate their own knowledge graph. New roads traveled are scary and beautiful things containing possibilities and opportunity, but also uncertainty and the potential for promises unkept. The road to wisdom is no different. There have been many claims to the next best thing, and I'm not necessarily saying personal knowledge graphs are the be all end all next best thing either, but what they are is a start in a long line of next best things to come that they will enable others to discover the lessons that they maybe have forgotten and how they can use that for the next best thing that they are yet to discover and connecting that to the wisdom that is out there from others who are going through the same things and adding their lessons for others to benefit from. So while personal knowledge graphs are not the next best thing, they actually might be the mechanism to the next best thing because it's one of the ways that we are discovering that you can record all of the little it nuts and bolts and nuances and interesting tidbits that you come across in a way that you can understand the interweavings of what what your own learnings are and find connection points because these are standardized graphs so that you can see how you connect to others and so that's really the promise that i see here is there are so many learnings that we all have and it's so incredibly hard to share them and if we do share them they're not always in the most standard or easily understood or interoperable mechanisms and so hopefully the way that personal knowledge graphs are going at least these are going to be one of those vehicles that we can use to help make this that much better. All right, so I hope that you've enjoyed this. I know this is a little bit different than some of my other video formats, but it's something that um, I truly believe is a, a breakthrough in, in how we think about personal knowledge and how we can actually get to wisdom and it's not the only way for sure. Wisdom has existed since people, right? Like we're always sharing. We're always trying to learn from each other, but this is potentially a way to scale that to a degree that we've never seen before. All right. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that the, this has maybe inspired you. And if you want to learn more about personal knowledge graphs, I will link some videos down below. So with that, I want to thank you very much and I'll catch you next time.